Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to prepare your scene for adding mobile traffic system inside it. I have here a scene that also comes with the package. It has a couple of roads, a couple of intersections, a roundabout and a very short highway. In this tutorial series I will show you how to set up the entire scene to work properly with mobile traffic system. The scene also includes a player car and some environment objects as you can see here. So, first of all you need to set up your layers for performance reasons. To do that, go to Window, Glay, Traffic System and select Scene Setup and then Layer Setup. As you can see, some of the layers are already in place. You can see only numbers because the layers are empty. Maybe inside your project, instead of numbers, the layers will have the names you gave them. Now I will open the Layers tab. And as you can see, the layers are empty, so I'll rename my layers to make more sense. The name is not important, the important thing is the functionality for each layer. As you can see, if you hover the text, a short explanation is given, but I will try to explain it myself to be more clear. The road layers are the only layers on which a car can drive, and you can only draw waypoints on the layers added in the road layer section. So if you need your car to drive over an object, it needs to be put on the road layers. The traffic layers should be used only for traffic vehicles. No other objects should be placed on those layers. As you can see, you can select any number of layers based on your environment design. The building layers are used for objects that do not move in your scene, but the traffic cars might interact with them. The obstacle layers are used for dynamic objects that can interact with traffic cars. The player is used for your player car. The layers are set. For a performance boost, it is best to edit your layer collision matrix to ignore the unnecessary collision detection. This can give you a huge boost on every game if it is done properly. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Physics to access the collision matrix. Your player should collide with road, building, traffic, obstacles and other players if they are. Your obstacle should collide with road, traffic, buildings, other obstacles and player. The buildings should only collide with traffic because they are static. The traffic needs to collide with the road and the other cars. And the road doesn't have to collide with anything. All other layers can be unchecked. Based on your game design, your layer collision matrix might look different, but make sure to set it up properly because it might give you a lot of performance benefits. Now let's set the grid. The grid is used for performance optimization. Let's hit generate and see what happens. You receive a console message telling you that the process is done and you can view the grid. As you can see, all your environment will be split into squares. The squares are used to improve the performance. If your car is located in this square, the traffic cars will only be generated in the squares that are around your car. Due to this reason, you can use a small number of vehicles for an entire city and you will not notice that. The dimension of the cell depends on how fast your player will be moving. If your player moves fast, the square should be larger because you will travel faster from one square to another and the cars might not be able to generate that fast in front of you. You should play with this value and decide which is best for you. Another thing you can set is your car types. Category types are used to restrict some cars to enter in some areas. For example, here you have four lanes. And if you create a category called truck, you can set up a condition and all your trucks will only drive on the first lane and all of the cars can drive everywhere. You can create as many categories as you want. 
This concludes the scene setup. In the next video, I will show you how to create your first road and how to set up the traffic on it. If you have any questions, you can contact me at this address. Thank you for watching.